Hello, welcome. Is this your first session? Oh, you're in for a treat. I think you're really going to enjoy this. So let's get started. First things first. What's your name? Oh, awesome. Nice to meet you. I am Anne. I am going to be your tingle specialist. I see that you've already been hooked up to the electrodes. They're going to measure your response to the different tingles that I'm going to be administering today. Oh, so your doctor recommended you for this therapy? Are you at all familiar with, with ASMR? Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's those, um, the whispering videos that you normally see, like, on YouTube. So, I know that most people, you know, don't take it very seriously. However, you know, there's been some research recently that shows that it can really help with anxiety and depression. There's some people, like yourself, that, you know, don't really want to take medications. Yeah, exactly. You see those commercials on TV, and they all sound wonderful until you start hearing about the side effects. So the thing with ASMR and with tingles is that ASMR is very similar to musical taste. You know, it's going to be different things and different triggers that appeal to different people. It's definitely not a, you know, one size fits all type of thing. So, in order to find your 100% customizable treatment, I'm going to have to conduct a little session today where I expose you to different triggers and we'll see based on what the electrodes show which ones relaxing brain waves and which ones make you feel the most at ease. So although the computer is going to show me your brain waves, I also want you to tell me verbally which triggers that you enjoy the most, both visually and from an auditory standpoint. As much feedback as possible is really essential for creating the best treatment program for you. Okay? Wonderful. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, I'm going to break this up into sections, alright? And I want to explain step of the way, so you don't have any anxieties, and you know exactly what's going on. So, first things first, I'm going to put on some gloves because I am going to be touching your face a little bit. So the first trigger is that we are going to start off with sensory triggers based on touch. So I'm going to start off by gently just touching your face with the gloves. I am then going to use a soft brush on your face. 
And then I'm going to be combing your hair. And then I'm going to use a feather on you. So these are all sensory triggers. Some people really enjoy them. Some people might be a little bit ticklish. So I want you to let me know how you're feeling, if you like them, how the pressure is. Remember, this is all about you, okay? So you just have to give me as much feedback as possible. So we might not be able to find all your favorite triggers in this one session. There's so many. You know, we can conduct a couple different sample platters like this, is what I like to call them. And then eventually we're gonna find the exact right prescription for you. So then once we do, you can come in as often as you like. I think most people usually start off with, here, I'm just gonna get a little closer. I'm gonna start touching your face while I describe the, the procedure, okay? Alright, so I'm just gonna kind of like gently, gently touch your face, just like some very soft face stroking. So as I was saying, um, you know, we might not be able to find like every single trigger that you like in this very first session. But, uh, you know, we'll do a couple different trials. You can come in as often as you like. How does this feel? Do you like this pressure? This is very, very, very light pressure. I'm like barely just grazing you. Okay. So, then once we find like the perfect recipe for you, then you're gonna come in for, I would recommend at least three times a week. Yeah, just to get started. It's a good amount. And then we can kind of gauge the results based on that. You can see if you need more or less. But three is like a good amount to, to start with, okay? All right, so I'm seeing some good brainwave patterns already. How are you feeling right now in terms of your relaxation level? With 10 being extremely relaxed and 1 being like very anxious. Okay. triggers, so I'm going to have to, you know, move a little bit more quickly through them right now. However, once we find out, like, which ones we like for you, which ones you respond to the best, each trigger session will last at least 10 minutes, all right? So, this is all just about finding the correct recipe. But it's a fun process, you know. If there's something that you really hate, though, let me know. Because I wouldn't want to, you know, keep doing it if it is extremely unpleasant for you. This is not supposed to be a, you know, painful experience. It's supposed to be enjoyable. All right, so moving on. Next, I'm going to brush your face with this very, very soft brush. I'm also going to be sort of tapping on things. You might notice that. As it turns out, the tapping and scratching are actually um, very common ASMR triggers. So you might notice from time to time that I start sort of tapping on things. And that's the reason for that. So I just wanted to explain that to you. All right, so you can either close. 
close your eyes or you can keep them open you know it's entirely up to you I'm just gonna gently very gently just brush these very very soft bristles just cross your face Relax. I just want you to know that everything is going to be okay. Alright? Everything is going to be okay. All you have to do is relax. Relax. So I'm also going to be just sort of like periodically just saying some relaxing phrases to you and I'm just seeing how you respond to different phrases everything that I'm doing is all a part of the test how's this feeling? alright relax Oh. 
You're doing a great job. I'm getting really interesting results so far. Okay, so now's the feather. I'm just gonna gently just kind of you know, brush it along your face and neck. Have you ever watched ASMR videos before? But after having experienced like in-person one-on-one sessions, it's gonna be definitely hard for you to enjoy it quite as much as the real deal. But it still can be relaxing in a good way to, you know, just decompress after a hard day. Get your mind off of things. You know, it's important to remember that our thoughts can be very, very misleading. You know, you really can't believe everything that you think. So many times we get stuck in this cycle of very, very And we just need something to kind of break the cycle and get us out of our head. And to bring us back into our body. So that's where this really helps. You know, it just really helps focus you on the physical sensations of the present moment. Really amazing sensory experience to get you out of your head and back into your body. Lots of times we forget how to do that because we're so conditioned to staying in our own hands that we forget how to ground ourselves and be physically Alright, so you're doing amazing. We're done with that portion of things, okay? I'm just gonna enter a few little things. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm so glad. Alright, so we're gonna move on to the next section. So the next section is a little more tactile. I'm gonna be playing with some different substances, creating different sounds all for your listening pleasure. This is all 100% for you. <sighs> yeah, lotion is actually a very big trigger. Um, I don't know if you've ever been like sitting maybe, let's say, in a class or something and someone like sitting next to you starts just a little bit of lotion on their hands. Many people report finding that to be very relaxing. The thing about lotion is that it's not just like a visual. Uh, you actually get the sensory as well because you're smelling the lotion. So the aroma the lotion mixed with just somebody sort of gently rubbing their own hands can end up being a sort of a calming, relaxing trigger for some people. Skin 
skin cells, watching other people comb their own hair. So, you know, at the beginning I combed your hair, but some people actually find it more relaxing to watch someone brushing their own hair. So, that could be something that we experiment with as well. Maybe in a future session. Do you think that would be something that you might enjoy? Like if I got a comb and then slowly, slowly combed my own hair. And this lotion does smell nice, doesn't it? It's very just like soft, clean scents. I didn't want to get anything too overpowering. You know, it can be a little jarring to the senses. Just want something very light, neutral. Sometimes that's what does the trick. But if there's any specific scents that you like, we could definitely incorporate that in. Are there any scents that you find very appealing? Oh, alright, let me write that down. I enjoy that scent as well. So I could get that, we could do some aromatherapy. Anything else? Okay, let me just write that. Yeah, now we have a back room just filled with all different, you know, oils that I can just mix into the lotions. Great. Completely customizable scents. Your scents a very powerful trigger. You know, it can really conjure up different memories that we associate with periods of calmness and relaxation. So your headphones still turned up? Wonderful. I'm just going to be making some different sounds for you. things and I just want you to tell me your like immediate like gut reactions and them. very like hit or mess. This is the type of thing that people either love or like absolutely hate. So do not worry about offending me if you have like a strong opinion on this. It's mouth sounds. So if you do like this, then we'll explore it further. And you know, I could do eating or I'm just gonna do like a quick 
quick little task. I'm just gonna put a piece of gum in my mouth. I'm just gonna whisper like a couple trigger words to you with the gum in my mouth, okay? Are your headphones at like a good level right now? Alright, perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna put this in my mouth. I'm just gonna say some today's session, I've gotten some really good feedback from you. I think I'm gonna do like two more trial sessions just to get some more tingles in because I got some really interesting biofeedback from you and there's a couple things I I just want to explore. Um, I'm gonna take this gum out of my mouth. things and these are the last two things for today. Would you be able to come back on Wednesday? What time is good for you? Okay. Perfect. So we'll do a couple more just test runs. I just really want to like fine tune those for you. start to become tingle immune to some of the triggers that you like absolutely liked at the best and that's normal and when you get to that point I just need you to let me know and then we'll do this test again and we'll come up with some more triggers for you so you know over time it's very common something that used to give you tingles to just, you know, you got a tingle immunity to it. So just let me know if, you know, after we, you know, we got the, the customizable session for you. I'm just making some fabric sounds right now. Some people enjoy fabric sounds. Um, if after we got your little 
specialized session done for you. Let me know if you start to feel like the tinkles aren't as intense as they once were. And then we'll just, you know, we'll switch things up, mix it up. It's interesting. Yeah, now sometimes something that initially you didn't respond well to on this test, you can end up liking down the line, like taste change, just like, you know, your taste with music can change. If you listen to the same sound too much, like you start to crave something different. I mean, the same with food. If you were to eat your, your favorite meal every single day, eventually your taste buds would, you know, start to crave something new. So the same as, the same is true for taste. session. Definitely learned a lot about you and I uh, got some really good responses from things. So it kind of gives me a better idea of where to go for the next session. Um, so yeah, if you could come back Wednesday, that would be perfect. Now that I have a better idea, kind of like what you like, what you don't like, I feel like your next session is going to be even better. Honestly, every session just keeps getting better and better because we keep figuring out, you know, more of what you enjoy. So, you know, if you want to just sit down for a little bit, I know like hard to immediately jump up after being relaxed. You're completely welcome to just stay here in my office. I'm gonna just run down the hall. I'm just gonna enter this data. But I'll put on some nice soothing music for you. Yeah, I'll get that aromatherapy going. I'll put that scent in that you love. And you just stay here. And you just decompress for a little bit longer. You get up whenever you feel ready, okay? Yeah, and that's how we're going to end every session. I don't ever want you to feel like after you're nice and relaxed that you have to jump and get up and leave. That would not be very soothing. So we always schedule every client with like a half hour window in between. So that just gives you like a really nice amount of time to get up whenever you feel ready. Would you like a blanket? Okay, yeah, I'll go get you a blanket. Just wrap that around you and you just sit there and relax. Are you thirsty? It was honestly really, really successful. I'm really happy with the results. I think that you're going to be a really, really good candidate for this type of therapy. And like I said, it's so wonderful because there's absolutely, you know, zero side effects to tingle therapy. Satisfaction guaranteed. Alright. I'm gonna go get that blanket for you and that drink and you just sit back and relax, okay? Alright.